All right, we are at section 16.4, rate of energy transfer by sinusoidal waves on strings. So let's share the uh, PowerPoint. Uh, so uh, if we send a pulse down this string, we know that there's energy in it because the en it's able to lift this mass. The pulse lifts the block, increasing the gravitational potential energy of the black earth system. Uh, so there is energy in the system. Uh, the, uh, so each element of the string is a simple harmonic oscillator and therefore has kinetic energy and potential energy associate, associated with it. So the kinetic energy is one half mv squared. Uh, so if we just look at a small portion uh, of the mass dm, uh, dk is equal to one half dm vy squared. Uh, and remember that it's going up and down vy position. So dk, uh, what is the mass? The mass is the mass density times uh, x uh, dx um, in the small portion of x. So dk is equal to one half mu dx v uh, vy squared. Um, so uh, dk is equal to uh, one half the what we're substituting right now is the uh, vy squared. So one half u uh, times minus uh, omega a cosine kx minus omega t squared dx. Um, and that's equal to one half uh, mu omega squared a squared cosine squared kx minus omega t dx. Now, if we evaluate this at t equals zero, it simplifies to dk equals one half mu omega squared a squared cosine squared kx dx and that's what we're going to use let me stay up with my notes here um, all right so uh, dk uh, is equal to one half mu omega squared a squared d cosine squared kx dx now the integral uh, so k is equal to uh, k of lambda, the kinetic energy of the wavelength is equal to integral of dk, which is equal to uh, integral of zero to lambda of one half um, mu omega squared a squared cosine squared kx dx equals, now the mu, uh, the one half mu omega squared and a squared, those are all constants. They're not, uh, they can come out of the integral. So it's one half times mu omega squared a squared cosine of the integral of cosine squared x. Now, if you look in a, a, uh, a integral table, cosine uh, squared, the integral of cosine squared ax dx is equal to x over two plus sine two ax over four a. Well, in this case, it's uh, our a is k, so the cosine squared, integral of cosine squared kx dx is equal to x over two plus sine two kx over four k. Uh, and that's what we have in that third line, one half mu omega squared a squared, one half x plus one over four k sine two k x evaluated from lambda, uh, from zero to lambda. And so you get one half uh, mu omega squared a squared uh, times one half lambda. And you're going to end up with one fourth, uh, one fourth mu uh, omega squared a squared lambda. Um, and so we're just, we have this over here. Uh, we copy this equation over here. K lambda is equal to one fourth mu omega squared a squared lambda. Now the potential energy of lambda, if you go through a similar derivation, you'll end up with the same thing. One fourth um, mu omega squared a squared lambda. You'll see it's the same as the K lambda. Uh, so the total energy is the sum of those. Well, you have a one-fourth and a one-fourth. You end up with one-half mu omega squared a squared lambda. So the power is equal to the transfer by mechanical wave divided by delta T. That's E lambda divided by the period. So that's one-half mu omega squared a squared lambda over the period equals one-half uh, mu omega squared uh, a squared lambda divided by t. Well, what is lambda divided by t? That's equal to v. So the power is equal to one half mu uh, omega squared a, 
uh, squared times the velocity. So that shows that the equation, uh, the equation shows that the rate of energy transfer by sinusoidal wave on a string is proportional to the square of frequency, uh, the square of the amplitude, and the, the wave speed. So the omega is the uh, 2 pi f. So it's uh, the square of the frequency, the square of the amplitude, and the wave speed. So let's do a quick quiz. Which of the following taken by itself would be most effective in increasing the rate at which energy is transferred by a wave traveling along a string? Reducing the linear mass density of the string by one half, uh, doubling the wavelength of the wave, doubling the tension in the string, doubling the amplitude of the wave. Let's, let's look at the equation. Um, and the question again is, uh, which would be most effective in increasing the rate at which energy is transferred by a wave traveling along a string. Let's look at the equation. Power is equal to one half mu uh, omega squared a squared v. Well, the answer is the amplitude, uh, doubling the amplitude. And let's see why. The doubling the amplitude of the wave causes the power to be larger by a factor of four. Um, in choice A, having the linear uh, mass density of the string causes the power to change by a factor of 0.71. Uh, and the rate decreases. Um, in choice B, doubling the wavelength of the wave halves the frequency and causes the power to change by a factor of 0.25. And the rate decreases. Um, in choice C, doubling the tension in the string changes the wave speed and causes the power to change by a factor of 1.4, which is not as large as in choice D, which is doubling the amplitude of the wave. And there, we'll stop there and we'll go on to the uh, uh, wave equation, the linear wave equation next time.